I danced in the morning when the world was begun And I danced in the moon and the stars and the sun And I came down from heaven and I danced on the earth At Bethlehem I had my birth Dance then wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I'll lead you all wherever you may be, and I'll lead you all in the dance, said he. Come live in the light, shine with the joy and the love of the Lord we are called to be light for the kingdom, to live in the freedom of the city of God. We are called to act with justice, we are called to love tenderly, we are called to serve one another, to walk humbly with God. Morning. Morning, Father. Hard to believe it's Wednesday already. The week is flying by. And it is with great joy that we begin this Wednesday morning as we begin every day when we first wake up. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we come together this morning to praise God, to begin our day celebrating His love, we call to mind first our faults and our failings. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We instruct you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to shun any brother who walks in a disorderly way and not according to the tradition they received from us. For you know how one must imitate us, for we did not act in a disorderly way among you, nor did we eat food received free from anyone. On the contrary, in toil and drudgery, night and day we worked so as not to burden any of you. Not that we do not have the right. Rather, we wanted to present ourselves as a model for you so that you might imitate us. In fact, when we were with you, we instructed you that if anyone was unwilling to work, neither should that one eat. May the peace of the Lord himself give you peace at all times and in every way. May the Lord be with all of you. This greeting is in my own hand, Paul's. This is the sign in every letter. This is how I write. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. 
God bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The love of God is truly perfected in Him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. It's my mind, my lips, and my heart. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs, which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous, and you say, if I had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophet's blood. Thus you bear witness against yourselves that you are the children of those who murdered the prophets. Now, fill up what your ancestors measured out. The Gospel of the Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ. Whew. Rough, rough reading from the gospel to begin a day. But uh, I'd like to look at St. Paul's letter to the Thessalonians first. Uh, my parents and my grandparents used to say, you can always tell somebody by the friends they have, right? Birds of a feather flock together. And so St. Paul encourages the Thessalonians to not walk with those who walk in disorderly ways. Keep good company. George Washington, our first president, one of his favorite quotes, uh, it's a favorite of mine, is, I'd rather be alone than be in bad company. I wonder if he had St. Paul's letter in mind when he said that. The other thing that I, I always tell my friends at the holidays uh, from today's letter from St. Paul's, you know, if you don't work, you don't eat. Everybody has to pull their fair share, okay? And so when you have company over for the, at the house for Christmas and Thanksgiving, I always tell my friends, put them to work. Make them do the dishes. Make them help clean up. Otherwise, they don't get their meal. And, of course, I'm, you know, teasing. You might do that. You might not. Today's gospel is hard, especially the end. Time for you to fill up what your ancestors have measured out. What goes around comes around, and not necessarily in your life. You're going to have to pay for the sins of those before you. We see that in reputation, don't we? If a man has a good reputation, his sons and daughters tend to be given some consideration until they prove themselves. Where are we in faith? Where are we in faith? They say the holiest place on earth is before the Blessed Sacrament, and the unholiest place on earth is the parking lot of the church after Mass. <laughs> How do we not be like whitewashed tombs, beautiful on the outside, but empty on the inside? How do we fill up with good measure, shaken down and packed, the love and the mercy of Christ? I know it's not Lent. We've got a ways to go. But at various times during the year, 
we are given opportunities through Scripture to sweep out the emptiness and to fill it with love. Let us pray. We pray for the Church throughout the world that in preaching the good news of Jesus Christ, crucified and risen, she may help those who are searching for meaning in their life to find ways to fill up that emptiness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world leaders, for our president, for our allies, for our enemies, that they may be men and women of good character and that they may always put first the needs of the people whom they govern, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and the suffering, for those in hospitals and nursing homes, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are empty, for those searching, and for those who may be yet unaware that somehow the Holy Spirit may touch their hearts and fill them with what is right and what is true and what is just in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our young people who search for meaning in their life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayers that you bring to the Mass today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we place these petitions at the foot of your altar this morning as we gather to celebrate your divine love. We ask that you hear these prayers through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and her spouse, St. Joseph. And if it be your will, we ask that you answer these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. If you have a missalette, please join in number 233, Hosea. Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Trees to bend, though straight and tall, so must we to others call. Long have I waited for your coming home to me and living deeply our new life. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Douglas, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your countenance. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our oh, Father, God. who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with each of you. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Oh.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the living of our lives. Thanks be to God. Shown in the singing of number 232, Lord of the Dance, number 232. I danced in the morning when the world was begun And I danced in the moon and the stars and the sun And I came down from heaven and I danced on the earth At Bethlehem I had my birth Dance then wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I'll lead you all wherever you may be, and I'll lead you all in the dance, said he.